would be a slave. His hands would be gnarled and broken from the brick pits. His back scarred from the taskmaster's whip. But in his heart would burn the spirit of the living God. Does this God demand a scarred back and broken hands as the price of his favor? This desert God is the hope of the hopeless. Your place is in the palace halls. You have mounted to the sun on golden wings. You belong to me, to Nefertiri, to Seti, to all those who love you. Do they love less who have no hope? Will you swear in the name of this God that you are not my mother? We do not even know his name. Then look into my eyes and tell me you are not my mother. Oh, Moses, Moses, I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> I am your brother, Aaron. I am Miriam, your sister. I am your brother, Moses. No! No, get ready to leave. Hurry! They're going away, Moses. The secret's going with them. No one need ever know the shame I brought shame. upon you. What change is there in me? Egyptian or Hebrew, I am still Moses. These are the same hands, the same arms, the same face that were mine a moment ago. A moment ago, you were her son, the strength of Egypt. Now you are mine, a slave of Egypt. You find no shame in this. There is no shame in me. How can I feel shame for the woman who bore me? Or the race that bred me? Oh, God of my father. Moses, what will you do? This is the binding tie. And here I will stay. To find the meaning of what I am. Why a Hebrew or any man must be a slave. Put back your things, you are not leaving. Moses, has she done more for you than I? Will the life she gave you be more useful in the black pits of slavery? Cannot justice and truth be served better upon a throne where all men may benefit from your goodness and strength? I do not know what power shapes my way. But my feet are set upon a road that I must follow. Forgive me, Biffy. God of our fathers, who has appointed an end to the bondage of Israel, blessed am I among all mothers in the land. For my eyes have beheld thy deliverance. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn, making straw for the bricks of Egypt, nor spare the arms that endlessly winnow the grain in the wind to separate the wheat from the chaff, wheat born stolidly on the backs of countless slaves, from the heavy-laden Nile boats to the teeming shore. Endlessly they plod beneath the sheaves of wheat and endlessly return for more. A golden harvest